Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at how you do a course copy in a way that you actually delete all the stuff that's already in your course and replace it with other stuff. And so within Moodle you can do a course copy and it'll just bring all the stuff over, but it won't account for what might already be in your course. So we're going to take a look at how to do that. So first you want to go into the course that has the content that you want to copy, right? So this is the source. This is the place you are wanting to move into the new place. So once you're here, you're gonna click on more. You might see some of these options, you might not see others, but you should see course reuse. You're gonna select that. You're gonna have some things down here that you actually don't have to pay attention to. You're gonna come over to import, and under import, you're gonna select backup. And once you do backup, it's, you'll have some of this, you know, you'll have boxes here that um, you can choose from. By and large, you can kind of leave it as it is because you're really just trying to back up the course. You're not worried about other things that we just don't have to think about right now. If everything's all set, you can always jump to the next, to the final step and it'll make the copy, but we're gonna go through next. When you hit next, it's gonna kind of have just everything you just said okay to. Um, you might want to click off. I would often recommend clicking off user data. Uh, and in fact, you can do that on the previous screen. If you go back here and you, up here, you don't want to include enrolled users. Uh, and then you want to also, nope, I believe that's it. Let's go to next. So now that we did that, notice this has all these X'd out because you're not bringing over user data. There's, there's nothing there to bring over. All right, but you're bringing over all the content, which is the thing that you really want. So these are all great. If there was something I was just like, actually, I don't, you know, I don't want to bring this over or this over or maybe this. Like you can uncheck things in your backup, so you don't have to back up all of it. Um, there's pl plenty of reasons why you might do that, so just know that that's an option. Everything here is looking great, super. Want to do it? I'm gonna hit next. And then here it allows you to rename the file. So I'm gonna just name this as a uh, backup to writing for writing for change, which is the name of the course. Uh, it's summer 2024 section. All right, that's looking good. All of this is looking exactly just reconfirming all the things I've already said that I wanted. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and perform backup. Depending on the size, it's going to take, you know, uh, could take a few seconds, could take up to a minute or two to do that backup. And then you just hit continue. Now, when you do and you're in the section, you come down to user private backup area and you'll see this is the course that I just copied. It is now copied. It tells me the size. I could download this if I wanted to import it or, or uh, import it into another system or another iterance of Moodle besides the one that I'm in, and I can also restore it. So actually, I'm gonna restore it, but I don't wanna restore it here. I'm actually gonna go, this is into another course. Again, same course, but it's a different semester. Once I'm here, I'm gonna select more. I'm gonna select course reuse. And right here where I see import, I'm gonna go to restore. Once I'm in restore, I'm going to come down to my private backup area and I'm going to select, I'm going to want to restore this course. Once again, it's going to be like, hey, here's all the things that are included. Does this look good to you? And I'm going to say, sure, let's continue. And then now I'm going to come to this and it's going to say, oh, do you want it as a new course? And I'm going to skip that and I'm going to scroll down to restore into this course, the course that I'm in, the course that I want to be teaching from. And so it says merge it. So merge the backup course into this course uh, or delete the contents of this course and then restore. I'm going to select then uh, delete the contents and then restore. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna give me some options here. So uh, a lot of these things I'm gonna just largely ignore. I can just keep trekking. And then here is where is the, the place where you want to be just a little bit careful, uh, where you see keep current roles and enrollments. You want that to say yes. Uh, overwrite course configuration, by and large, no. You don't wanna overwrite the course name. Um, if you're doing any kind of groups and groupings, then you would also change that to yes. Otherwise, 
you know, you can again take a look at this list of all the things that are coming in and decide what are the things you want to include and what are the things that you want to get rid of. Once that's all done, once again, we scroll to the bottom. It's a very long list, I know. We hit next. Once again, we're getting a confirmation of, oh, are these all the things that you want? And you're going to say, yes, it definitely is. And then scroll once more to the bottom and hit perform restore. Again, depending on the size, this may take up to uh, a minute or so. Once you're done, you get this right here telling you like, hey, everything went great. So you're going to hit continue. It will bring you back to the course. And as you can see, the course now has all of that uh, content that we were bringing over from the other course. So once again, the important thing is you do the, re you do the backup in the course that has the stuff that you want. You want to back that up. Then you want to go into the course that you want the, the backup or you want the, that course to be copied into and you do a restore. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much.